Hey everyone, this is Ryan here today on the Syntax Byte channel, and today we're going to go over routing in Vue.js with the Vue Router add in library. So, first things first, you just need to make sure that you have Vue.js <coughs> included in your page as well as the Vue Router library. So, I have just included these here via script tags. You can use in any installation method uh, that suits your project. But since we're just doing a simple demo today, I'm just including uh, the scripts. I've created a div with an ID of app, and this is going to host our view app. So we're just going to get started with the HTML here. So first off, I just want to include the router view component. And I need this component uh, in order to have the contents of my routes actually displayed. Okay, so let's get some JavaScript going here. So first of all, we want to create a couple of components uh, with templates, and these are going to be our uh, oops, sorry, our components uh, that we're going to display on each individual route. So I'm just going to have a home page here we're going to say this is home and keep in mind that when you're doing view.js components you have to have a single root element so that's why I wrapped those two in a div I'm going to just copy that change this to we're going to have an about page change it in this about and this is some information about our awesome company. Cool. Okay, perfect. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to create a array that is going to hold our routes. So it's going to be an array of JavaScript objects and it's going to have a path. So the slash component is going to be home which we created earlier. We'll have one with a path of slash about and a component of about. Oops. Okay, so that is our array of routes. And you can have as many or as few of these as suits your project. Now we need to create our view router. So we can say var router was new view router. And we're going to pass an object to that. And our options are just going to say routes, routes. Now there are more options available for view router. But for now, we are just going to pass it the routes. That's all we need to give it to get going here. And finally, we're going to say var app equals new view. And this is a root view instance. And router is going to be router. And we also need to say that the element that we're going to attach to is app. Perfect. So now we should be able to go and test that out. So I'm going to start up a simple Python server here. If you have Python 2 installed, you can just go Python 2 -m simple HTTP server. And that's the easiest way to get a HTTP server up and running. You could technically do this just by browsing to the HTML file. It actually does work. Um, but just so we can get a cleaner view in our URL box of what's going on, um, why not start this simple Python server, right? So if I refresh now, we can see that we get home. And if I go to slash about, we can see that we get about. One thing you will note here is that there is a little hash symbol, which kind of muddies up our URL and doesn't make it look all too nice. There is definitely a way to get rid of this, but you do have to uh, enable URL rewriting in your server configuration. Since I don't have any special configuration for this Python server, it doesn't really work properly. But all you need to do to do that is add here mode history. Oops, sorry. Like this. And then you would get, uh, if you go like that, uh, you would you would get no hash 
there. But if you go to slash about, it, it, it won't work because we don't have URL. Rewriting turned on, so I'm just going to turn that off. And we can go back here. And there we go. Okay, so that's all fine and dandy. You can visit the routes, but users on your website probably won't want to have to manually type in URLs to get uh, to different routes on your web page. So we're going to create a little navigation here. And we'll make a unordered list and list items. We'll have what are called router link tags to, and then you, you just set it where you want to go. So we'll have to slash. And we'll type in home link li li. Or why don't we just oops, copy that, paste it down there, and change this to go to slash about. Finish the UL. Finish the nav, and we should have some simple navigation available on our website if we refresh. And now we can just click to go to about or to home and about and to home. So that's all there is to doing simple routes with View Router. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe. I have more uh, content for Vue.js on the way. If you guys want to see some more in-depth routing, I'd definitely be willing to show that. Just drop a comment below and let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.